thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. Hey, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and a video that I really like to make is a bunch of different science experiments that you can try at home. So we bought all the materials for like six different experiments, which is a lot of milk in my fridge that says do not drink. But we didn't even get past the first experiment because it was so cool. So this video is gonna be a listicle of one. Check it out. When you put a thin rod, like a glass stirring stick, into a fluid that has specific properties and then spin the rod, it does something fluids don't usually do. The fluid travels up the rod. Not all fluids would do this, of course. I know you know that purple stuff has special properties. It's the most viral fluid on the internet. This is slime. And what we're seeing here is called the Weisenberg effect. It's not normal behavior for a fluid. If you've ever beaten brownie mix, you know that the fluid tends to fly off in all directions, and it certainly doesn't climb in and up the mixer. It climbs into my belly, though. So the Weisenberg effect happens with non-Newtonian fluids, and I'll talk about what those are, but it's so cool. We wanted to be able to visualize how the fluid is moving, so we made a few different colors of slime and then put them together in a container so we could draw the liquid up the rod from the point where all the colors meet. This was just an excuse for me to make pretty colors. I love colors. So this is what happened with the colors. Why does this happen? What is the Weisenberg effect? besides just another effect named after some dude. I talked to my friend Dan, who's a plasma physicist and also happens to be the friend who helped me with the colors about what's going on. So this is a, they call it slime. It, it flows like a fluid. So if I hold it like this, it'll, it'll flow as if it's a fluid, but if I pull it suddenly, it even snaps in half. The fluid moving around and getting dragged along this pen, that's gonna happen in any fluid. Like even water. Even water, yeah. But with this fluid, this material also has a unique property called viscoelasticity. Not only is this fluid viscous, but it will bounce back to its original position. That's not the case with all fluids. The elasticity of this fluid makes it want to come back to its original position, right? So I'm going to use this string as a model for that. Mm -hmm. So as this turns... That's the sound of science and it wraps up this string or the fluid and it's tightening as it goes, that creates a tension. When you have a tension that's pulling around, it actually creates an inward force that causes it to collapse. So think about what's gonna happen when this, this cylinder of fluid starts to squeeze in, it's gonna push the inner fluid up and that's what's driving the Weisenberg effect to send this up higher and higher up the rod. So the upward motion of the Weisenberg effect is essentially the fluid squeezing itself up the rod. A nice self-hug. It's also kind of like spaghetti when you twirl it around a fork, except spaghetti is not a liquid until it's in my belly. <sighs> I'm hungry. I mentioned that this works with non-Newtonian fluids, and I didn't tell you what those are. So a Newtonian fluid is a fluid that acts normally it's like water. If you, su if you suck water up a straw, the harder you suck, the more water will come up. But with non-Newtonian fluids, if you put something called shear, shear strain on them, which is kind of this sliding kind of motion, there's some non-Newtonian fluids like this kind, like slime, that get thicker. They're called shear thickening fluids. And it's the elasticity plus the shear thickening of the slime that causes it to tighten around itself as you're stretching it out with the twists fluid dynamics. This experiment, this demo, you must try at home. And if you want to make your own slime and do the Weisenberg, here's the recipe that we used. One half a cup of water mixed with half a cup of PVA glue or that washable multi-purpose white glue. It's Elmer's people. And then separately mix half a cup of warm water and a quarter teaspoon of borax. Then mix all that together, then profit. You can also add food coloring to the water or add glitter or mashed bananas or whatever you want. And the key to seeing the Weisenberg effect is to get a rod that you can make spin slowly. You can even do it by hand with some types of non-Newtonian fluids. And if you want to turn this into an experiment rather than just a demo, try controlling the amount of borax versus the amount of glue that you put in and see if that affects how far you can get it to climb up the rod. Or try something else. But whatever you do, if you try this at home, you better tweet it at me 
use the hashtag science slime. Science. Slime, slime for science. Thanks for watching this video. I've got another video that's a bunch of fun demos you can do with water, so check that one out. Subscribe if you want more physics and happy physicsing. Hey! I'd like to thank CuriosityStream for supporting PBS Digital Studios. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service that offers documentaries and nonfiction titles from a variety of filmmakers, including CuriosityStream Originals. For example, you could check out Space Probes, their six-part series all about space probes that we've sent out into our solar system to investigate other worlds. If you'd like to learn more, go to curiositystream.com slash physicsgirl and use the code physicsgirl during the sign-up process. Thank you.